The purpose of this video is to demonstrate for you how wildly easy it is to resize or manipulate an image for the web using an amazing piece of software called Skitch. So when I hover down to take a look at what's on my dock, you can see this red heart here. That is the icon or the logo for Skitch. And if you um, launch it, like I have it launched right now, you can see a dot just below it, then it runs in the background. So you don't even know it's running till you use it. And I'm gonna show you in a moment how to use it. So I'm using this to resize images to use on the Hopkins High School webpage. And there are, pre, there are three predetermined image sizes. One is if you want to make an image a banner, like this um, is right here in this particular image. And then in these stories right here, these news stories that are promoted, the images that you see are rectangular, smaller. Those are called thumbnail images. And then if I click on a, one of these stories, you see that there's more of a square image and those are called display image, no, detail images, sorry. So um, each of those has a predetermined size. So I am going to show you how I would resize images to either be a detail image or a thumbnail. So when I click on the edit tab here, just as a reminder for you web editors, um, you can see that in this particular instance, the thumbnail and the detail are the same image. It's just that the detail image has been resized so that it's square and the thumbnail image has been resized so it's more rectangular. Specifically, it's about 270 pixels across and about 174 pixels from top to bottom. So I'm gonna make a thumbnail image with Sketch. So the purpose here is really to show you what to do with Sketch. So I have an image, it's right here and I want to open that in Sketch. There's a couple ways to do that. One of the ways that you can do it is hold on your control key and then you click on the file name and you can say open with and you can choose Sketch right here. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Another way to do that is if you want to just drag the file and you can drag it right on top of that Sketch icon and when you do that, oops, there's my family. Wait momentarily. Good thing that was a good picture. All right, and then that will open in the Sketch window. Again, this is a very simple program. If you look down um, at the lower left-hand corner, you're gonna see how big this is right now. It's 949 pixels across. There are approximately 100 pixels in an inch. And I need to resize this to get closer to 270, uh, 270 by 174. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to resize it so I'm somewhat in the neighborhood of the size that I'm looking for or that is my goal. So to do that you go down to the lower right hand corner and you're going to drag that corner in and by doing that you can watch on the left hand corner that the size of the image is going to decrease. So I think I'm going to get to my height quicker than I get to my length. And so I'm, I'm going for about 174 for my height. So I just keep going little by little and sure enough, I'm at 174. If you look down here, 174 for top to bottom. But if I'm gonna really uh, make this an appropriate size for a thumbnail, I need my, um, my right to left size to be 270. So now I need to crop and cropping is different than just reducing the size. To crop in Sketch, you need to hover over one of the borders, okay? And I'm gonna drag one of those borders in so I can hover over any of my corners, top, bottom, left, right. So if I want to make this a little more narrow, I'm gonna bring, I could bring it in like this. So I'm hovering over my left-hand border and dragging it in a little bit. And then I might want to keep it centered or whatever. So I'm going to now try a little bit on this side. And then I might go back here. And I'm really trying to get to about 270. So it's just dragging the borders of the image. So lo and behold, um, through two particular moves here, one is the resizing from the right-hand corner and the other is the cropping from hovering over the borders of the image, I have... Um, change that so that it, it is the perfect dimension for a thumbnail image. So in Sketch, what you do then is give it a name. 
So I might call this HHS and I could call it PepFest Winter 2014. And if you, you can then drag this to your desktop. So I'm gonna, oops, you can close that. All right, so I gotta get Sketch to come back up front here. So if I wanna drag this to the desktop, you can see that there's a drag me option. I can drag it off of there and I can drop it on my desktop. And you know that after I upload this to the web, I will probably immediately delete that image. I won't need it anymore so that your, my desktop doesn't get messy like this. Oops, very messy. All right, so um, one other thing to notice is in Sketch, you can change the file type. Uh, by clicking on this pull down menu. But um, if it's a image, you're probably gonna use .jpg or .png for your file type, but that's an option there as well.